Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. I'm here today with Dane, my yes. sister. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to be filming a Colleen Hoover 24 hour readathon. So, I have a lot of Colleen Hoover books on my TBR uh, that I've accumulated over a long period of time. I've liked quite a few Colleen Hoover books, but I've also disliked a few. So, I'm kind of just determined. I can't even, I'm not going to be able to cut her every time she giggles. See, so you know what? She's going to giggle. A lot. <laughs> um, but I basically just desperately want to get all these books off my TBR because I do have six of them. So uh, I did recently do a Tessa Bailey 24 hour readathon in exactly the same way as I'm going to do this one. If you want to watch that, I will link it up above and down below, where I'm going to use the timer method and I have 24 hours to finish my TBR of Colleen Hoover books. Dane will be joining me. Dane is a much slower reader than I. I take pride. Yeah. Um, but she does have a TBR. Jade, Brooke's friend, recently gave me these three, the Maybe Now series. And then I've got about all of them on there. So, um, yeah. I'm going to read them together. I have Confess, Without Merit, All Your Perfects, November 9, Never Never, and Reminders of Him to Read. We're planning on buddy reading one, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Like, one of them we will both read in the 24 hours so we can, like, experience it. Um, I have all of them on my Kindle. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Because we both like the books we've read, other than Verity. I did not like Verity, which makes me very nervous for Never Never, because that's a thriller. But yeah, I'm excited nonetheless. We are going to do this over a few days because, as I said, it's a timer method. And I, she could probably do it, but I want to sleep. I need to sleep. So we are going to start that today, probably do quite a few hours today. Hopefully. And make our way through the week finishing these Colleen Hoovers. I'm not really sure how long it's going to take me because in the Tessa Bailey vlog, I read six books in 19 hours, I want to say. And they were a lot thicker than these books. But these are a lot like, they have like darker themes than Tessa Bailey's romances. Well, some of the ones I've read, so I assume these would too. So I don't know if it'll take me longer because of that, but yeah, we'll see. the sound of the washing machine in the background we are doing our one hour update these are the books you picked by the way um i am 90 set 96 pages in to mine i am 87 slay i personally am enjoying mine i think there's a lot of cringy writing that is pulling me out of the story quite a lot it definitely probably won't be a five star but i really like the concept of it's once every one day for every year that's so cool um, I expected to see their lives between those years, but it's kind of cool that we don't. I like that a lot. But yeah, other than the cringe, it's all right. I like it. I love mine. I missed reading. Yeah? Yeah. I forgot how good she was. I love a bit of Colleen Hoover. Controversial on the internet, this is. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't like Colleen. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> And I'm excited to see what it goes. It seems like a sad book when I'm ready to be a sad book. It's a sad book. I'm going to make you cry. Dane cries about everything. You should have seen her sobbing over High School Musical 3 last night. Actually, I'll put the photo on screen right now. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'm going to. And that was over High School Musical 3. <laughs> so I just kind of wait to see her reaction to the end of this. <laughs> Traumatized. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go carry on reading and we will update you on hour two. It is four o'clock. Dane wants to finish her page, but I'm forcing her to update. Um, you can read while we while we update. Um, so yeah, we're at two hours down and I've just hit page 193. <gasps> and for anybody... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when he, for anybody who's read this, I just read the part where Ben's a f an idiot and uh, made me so mad. So I'm furious. I shed angry tears. I'm really, 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 really angry. How do you feel about your book? 
I'm halfway through page 159. I love this couple. The fact that it's called Ugly Love, I will be the ugly one after this when I'm drowning in my tears, but I'm looking forward. Looking forward to the tears. Looking forward. We can cry together. We can, but mine will be angry tears at this point. So yeah, I think by my next update, I'll definitely have finished, hopefully. So yeah, we'll get there. It is our four, oh, we've just finished. I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. And Dane has finished her book. I am a bit disappointed. It's not the ending that I thought it was going to be. It was meant to be sad and it wasn't sad. Meant to be sad. I don't like a happy ending. And it was a happy ending. I don't think all of your books are sad endings. I think like two. Yeah, but I really enjoyed those two. So it was a good story, but I'm a bit disappointed. Mm. I started All Your Perfects and I'm 68 pages in. And I don't know how I feel yet. It started quite abruptly and I, I didn't read the synopsis. So I was so confused at what was happening. Um, and now I don't mind it. I just kind of don't really feel that into it. I don't really care about any of the characters or anything like that. So hopefully that'll change. But yeah, what do you pick it up next? Do you know yet? Are you just going to see? I don't know. I don't know. I think the timer is currently sitting at 17 and a half hours, which means we are six and a half hours into the challenge. And I have just finished All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover and Dane is reading November 9 now. Uh, I think it's a reread for her. Uh, this I ended up giving a four stars. I really, really liked it. I'd say it was on par with November 9 for me, although it was a very different book. It started off quite rocky because I think I already mentioned, like I kind of just jumped into it. It was really quick and like not for, not very well explained. And then as you go through, it develops quite well. You follow Quinn and Graham in their marriage you follow the then timeline with them just meeting and then kind of getting married and things. And then you follow them seven years later when their marriage is crumbling due to infertility, which is a really, you know, sad thing to read about. But I really like this. It was really a hopeful book as well as a sweet book. And I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to read next, but this book is another one done. Four more to go. Hello, it is quite a while later and it is super, super late. Like, it's literally like 1am, I'm about to go to bed. But I have done some more reading. I don't think I even mentioned that I was starting this, but I picked Reminders of Him up next because I really wasn't sure what to expect with this one. Um, and I was right to not know because this was not what I <laughs> would have expected from Colleen Hoover at all. I am currently 179 pages in. I'm on chapter 25. So I'm over halfway through this story and I don't know how I feel about it. It's about Kenna who, she was in an accident with her boyfriend at the time and I think she was drink driving, I think, and it, she ends up getting arrested for man's, um, manslaughter. And then she had a daughter, she was pregnant at the time, she had a daughter taken off her. Now she's out of prison and she's trying to find a way to have a relationship with that daughter. But the people who care for her daughter, the parents of the boy that she was with and in some way killed, obviously they don't really want that to happen so they're keeping her from her. And it's kind of like this heartbreaking tragic story about just a woman trying to get access to her child. But you kind of see both sides, like there's nobody that you hate in the story, you kind of understand. But we also see a Ledger's point of view, and Ledger is Scotty, the original boyfriend who was killed, his best friend. And he's also a very big part of the child's life. Um, but he also has met Kenna and understands Kenna's side as well, so it's kind of like you see both of them kind of bonding and understand, like trying to come to some sort of agreement on what's happening. But Ledger hasn't really got any sort of say in what happens with Kenna and the child's relationship. But yeah, so far it's really, really good. I'm enjoying it. I just think it wasn't like my favorite book from her. Like I'm thinking maybe at the moment a 3.5, but it'll depend on how it ends. 
But yeah, going to bed now. So <laughs> I'll update you when I finish this maybe. Good night. <laughs> and Dane finished. I finished November 9th. November 9th, which was a reread for Dane. So. And it was roughly a 2.8 because I reread it and it wasn't that good. It was a 2.8 it apparently. It wasn't that good. I didn't enjoy it the second round. Turn it through. That's very precise. Sorry, 2.89. 2.89 wow this was a this so far is a 3.245 really i thought it was a what did you say <laughs> a, a 3.25976 <laughs> anyway we're going because it's bedtime we're clearly delirious i'll let you know when i have finished this <laughs> hello hi love my hello every clip as if you haven't just consecutively seen my face I finished and um, I ended up giving this a four stars. I actually think I much preferred this, much preferred this, much more preferred this in the second half of the story. Um, I feel like I really connected with the characters a lot more. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to know their story. I was really invested in their story and I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's like as easily paced or as fast paced as All Your Perfects in November 9, but that's because it's a much harder topic. And it's not, there is a romance, but it's not focused on that romance. It's more focused on the child that's involved, which I usually hate in my romances. I don't like children in my romances. I don't like preg surprise pregnancy. I don't like already existing children. I don't want any of it. But this one was all right, to be honest. I was fine with it, because that was, it was like the main focus, but at the same time, like, the child wasn't actively involved because she wasn't allowed to see them. So it's it easier to read for me, personally, as mean as that sounds. And in the last update, I said that I finished November 9 and rated it a 2.89. <laughs> oh, yes. 2.89. And so I've just started regretting you on my Kindle. And I'm roughly 3% in. So. Three. Okay, maybe two. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I meant more. You've been reading all morning. No, I've been playing Love and Pies. <laughs> Not Love and Pies. Me too. I love Love and Pies. <laughs> But yeah, I'm hoping to finish that today, maybe. And then I'm gonna read the Maybe Now series. Yeah. Maybe series. I think next. I have. Yeah, I have these three to choose from next. So we have Confess Without Merit and Never Never. This one does not appeal to me at all because this cover is giving Frankenstein. It's horrible. Um, this one I'm really interested in because I want to know why there's pictures in the middle very desperately. But I think I'm in the mood for a thriller. I think reminders of him not being heavy romance made me realise I'm really craving something not romance. That was dramatic. That was very The books dramatic. fell. <laughs> and I think this is a thriller. It might even have romance in it. Yeah, maybe. But I'm <laughs> intrigued by the focus on the thrillery aspect. So, Whereas I've got all of them, but three is three, so I may as well do the series. Hmm. Yeah, slay. And a novella, so that shouldn't take you too long. And then we'll both have around six bucks if we can manage it. Only thing is, we have like, Dane goes home on Wednesday. It's Sunday today, which is great. But are coming to stay with us tomorrow until Wednesday. So we're not really going to have time to read. So today's kind of like our last day to kind of read. Dane can read when I'm not here, which is fine. Because I'm going to see six. Um, and you're not. But she doesn't love me. <laughs> Dane wasn't meant to be here. It's not my fault. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll just see how much we get through before you go home and then if she goes home I'll just carry on on my own. But yeah. And I'll send little videos of me saying I've just finished this book. <laughs> oh my god, little Dane on her own updates, that'd be hilarious. I hope we see some of those. <laughs> but yeah, better go back to reading now. And I'm starting with Never Never, I think. Oh, just cover up your face. Slime. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> Very, very quick update to say that I've only read 60 pages of this, but it's terrible. I don't want to read any more. I'm DNFing it. Hello. It has been a little bit of a while since I last updated you. I think I last updated you last Sunday. And today is Sunday. <laughs> 
Um, Dana's obviously gone home, she went home on Wednesday. On Monday, my friends arrived to stay and then it was kind of all out till Wednesday. I was busy on Thursday, I was busy on Friday. Uh, yesterday was my first day alone in the house for three weeks. Uh, and so I just had so much laundry, cleaning, work, everything to do that I didn't have a chance to read. So I literally have not done this vlog in a week. But I'm back today. First of all, my first update is that I did start this last Sunday after DNFing Never Never. And I've already gotten rid of the book and everything. Like it was that bad. I was like, just get rid of it out of my house. Um, but I did start Confess and I did get 88 pages through. Now obviously it's been a week, so not everything stuck into my mind. But I know for sure I was not enjoying this at the time at all. I was actually really disliking it. There were some really weird things that the man said in here. Owen, like there were some really uncomfortable things said and I was like, I don't know if I like that man at all. Um, and Auburn is not really a very compelling main character at all. Yeah, it started off weirdly. It's proceeded to be a little bit weird, but I am gonna try and continue some more of this today and update you on my thoughts and feelings because sometimes for me, Colleen Hoover does turn it around pretty quickly and I end up enjoying them. But so far, it seems like we had really good luck with the first half of this video and now the second half is gonna be not so good. But we have this one and without merit left. So fingers crossed I can do this. I have loads of time on the timer. I don't know exactly how much, but plenty of time left. I'm definitely gonna be able to complete this challenge and have plenty of time to spare. So yeah, I will go continue reading this and I will come back to you when I have an update. I finished and I did not like this one at all. I'm giving this a two stars. I just felt zero connections to these characters. Zero. Um, it felt underdeveloped. The characters felt very 2D and flat. There was just nothing to root for here. I didn't particularly care. There was too many, not love interests, because the main love interest was Owen, but there was obviously other guys involved from past and present. And I just got so over it very, very quickly. The writing style did not feel very good. I mean, I will admit Connie Hoover's writing style isn't great in all of her books, but her plot usually keeps me going. Uh, this did not, the characters did not. I, I didn't like this at all. Also, the reason I was really excited to read this book was because I was like, I wanted to know what these photos were about. Um, and then it turns out they weren't even like, I was thinking they were part of a scene. No, they're just stuck in mid-scene. They have nothing to do with the scene that's happening on this page. They're just chucked in mid-scene. Stupid. Anyway, yeah, I didn't like this one. Uh, disappointed. So we've got a DNF and a two star now. It's not going so well. And the final book is Without Merit, which I know nothing about, but that literally is the lowest of my priorities of this list. Like I just did not want to read that one at all. Absolutely not. No. No, we are not reading this. I did not get far in at all. This main character buys secondhand trophies that aren't theirs. Trophies of other people's steals slash buys them every time something goes wrong in her life. That is cringe. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We will not be messing with this today. Ew, ew, ew. And I barely read anything and it was all ew. I'm so glad I spent money on this book. No, this is horrific. Um, just as bad as Never Never so far in the two small amounts I read in both. Uh, no. So, to wrap up this video, we have three pretty decent books. November 9, Reminders of Him and All Your Perfects, which when I say decent books, they were four stars, they were entertaining reads, but they're definitely not reads that are gonna like sit with me forever. They are definitely not. Like, I've kind of already forgotten most of them, except for Reminders of Him, which has really sat in my brain quite a lot, but they're not books I'm gonna think about for the rest of my life. They're not books that are gonna change my way of thinking. 
but at least they were readable and enjoyable. Like I did really enjoy them. I had a good time. The last three were not it. Like the fact they had two DNFs and then one two star, and it was actually hard to get through that book as well. Disappointing. Disappointing. I'm upset. I'm hurt. I am betrayed. It was not a slay. It was not a slay at all. Um, I have like over 10 hours on this uh, timer because I DNF two books. So obviously I had loads of time left. Um, but yeah, I did achieve the challenge of reading all of my Colleen Hoover TBR in 24 hours, DNFing slash reading. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I really hope I didn't bash one of your favorites. I'm sorry if I did. But yeah, I shall see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.